It's always interesting to talk to a neuroscientist about genius. I mean, we use the word genius all the time. We can call Picasso a genius, or Einstein a genius, or your five-year-old a genius if he's particularly good at his arithmetic. But for a neuroscientist, you, know, you, you must be thinking about this in terms of the brain, what's going on in the brain of a genius. So I'm curious, like, for you, what does the word genius mean? Genius <clears throat> calls to mind the questions of individual differences. As a neuroscientist, we always think of the brain as being the source of our characteristics, our personality, our talents. Mm -hmm. And genius is on the scale of talents. That relationship between the neural circuitry of the brain and how the brain is organized at work and how we actually behave and what talents we have is really the essence of neuroscience. So it's kind of about the diversity of the wiring you're saying? I mean that you have different kinds of wiring that lead to different levels of talent in different areas? Well, it's an interesting question. We really don't know mm -hmm. what it is about our brains that makes your brain different than my brain. The truth of the matter is, most of our brains are pretty similar. And mm -hmm. the subtle differences in anatomy and structure of the brain oftentimes result in very big differences in who we are, how we think, and what our talents are. So it gets very complicated very fast. And the best answer is we really don't know. That do, there's a great have, deal. But do we have any hunches maybe? Like, I mean, could it be, well, I'm just thinking like, could it be a question say of, you know, a thicker layer of neurons here or a stronger connection between two regions there? I mean, do we have a sense of what, what might be underlying like these sort of extreme cases? Like, you know, what, what you know, what we should be even looking for? It's clear that there's not a simple answer to that question, mm -hmm. that the, the brain with the thick cortical layer isn't necessarily the brain that is the um, most talented brain. But I think that it's worth going back and thinking about a little bit what is genius. Mm -hmm. um, because it means different things to different people and perhaps even in different times of our life. Sure. When I think of genius, I think of the creative person, the person who changes the way we think, the person that has an impact, oftentimes that, that lasts long after the person has passed on. Mm -hmm. And that creative seed is something that's very difficult for a neuroscientist to understand. Mm -hmm. It's not like this one little part of the brain that makes us creative. Mm -hmm. It's something about how the whole brain works together. Right. right. It is it is tricky. And I mean geniuses are sort of by definition rare and and you know, when you're working as a scientist, you don't like rare. I mean, you like to be able to look at a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of brains and look for things in common. So I mean people have tried to look at Albert Einstein's brain to figure out what his genius is. I mean, what do you think of that kind of work? Well, actually I think it's a little misguided. Mm -hmm. uh, to tell you the truth, um, that um, looking at the anatomy of a brain mm. um, is very difficult to understand much of the function. But I think that we don't have to think of genius as being something that is rare. I think we can imagine that there's a little genius in all of us. All of us. Really? Yes, we're all creative. You, for example, you're one of the most creative science writers that there is. Well, I, I, and, I but I'm not going to like, thank you, but I'm not going to like solve for Mass Last Theorem, you know. I'm not going to paint Guernica. There are all, lots of things that I'm definitely not going to do and I'm definitely not going to be called a genius. Well, I'm not so sure that the quality of genius isn't necessarily a continuum, mm -hmm. a continuum of creativity, a continuum continuum of Yankee ingenuity. I think all of us as humans are sort of endowed with the need to make things better, to invent things, to go beyond the borders. We're all pioneers. We're all, we're all fascinated with a frontier. Mm. I mean, why do we think we need to go to the moon or to Mars? It's because we're human and we want to know what's on the other side. And it's so ingrained in us that I think that genius 
genius. It's just an extreme version of that, but it represents us as humans mm. in a very fundamental way. So in a way, it might be actually more interesting to compare all of us as a species to other species and look at how our brains are working or how they're different and what the things that we can do with our brains compared to chimpanzees or gorillas or crows or what have you. Yeah, actually, I think that that's a very logical extension of what I've just said, that, that it's very unique um, among species on the planet to be as creative as we are. Mm -hmm. It's really the essence, I think, mm -hmm. of who we are as humans. Mm -hmm.